Hi there, everyone. It's Mr. Robs. I am Mrs. Lynn. Right, and we are looking at parts of a circle today. Um, just to get a few definitions going on, we have a circle <clears throat> and we have a chord AB, which is this line that just connects one point of the circle to another point in the circle. This would be another chord, lots of chords. And this is an arc AB here, which is shown by this. Right. Okay, we have a segment which is you have a chord in the shaded region here. That's called a segment of a circle. Makes sense. And then like the pie piece or the pizza piece with the curved edge here is called a sector. And that angle down here is referred to as the central angle. Okay, so let's, <clears throat> let's work on finding arc length in area of a circle. Arc length first. And here's a problem for us. We say uh, arc, we have a circle with center A and with BAC equal to 50 degrees and a radius of 5, we want to find the arc length of BC. So we want to find out how much is that curved part. Well, let's, and with this angle is 50. Let's take a moment and pause and think about what this all means. Okay, I've got a sketch here, a geometry sketch pad, where I have angle CAB, this angle down here. And as I change C, the angle changes down below here you should be looking at. As I change my C value, the angle changes accordingly. And obviously, the length of the arc is also going to change. Exactly. And that's the blue one up here. This is referring to the blue length of that arc on the circle. So if I move that, the angle changes CAB, as does that blue length CB. Okay. So. This angle now, CAB is 83.75. I know the whole circle has a measurement of 360. And I'm going to do a quick calculation here. I'm going to calculate the angle, the central angle, CAB, and I'm going to divide it by 360. So we compared part of the degrees of the circle to the whole circle. All right, part to the whole. Now, the circumference is the entire length of the outside perimeter of the circle. If we do, that's comparable to 360. The length CBD, the blue, is comparable to this angle here, CAB. So let's do a proportion. And we can do a part to whole proportion again. So part of the circumference, which is CD, divided by the whole circle circumference. And... What do you know? The ratios are the same. The Even if I change the angle, the ratios change, but they're always the same value. And if we do, we can check. Well, I know if two things are the same and they're divided by each other, it equals 1. And this equals 1. And if I always change this, two equal things are always 1. It stays the same. Yeah. So. Part to whole, part to whole, just making proportions. So let's use that idea here. If I know I have 50 degrees as my part, the whole would be 360. And since the ratios are equal to each other, we can set that equal to part of the circumference, which is BC. Right, well, right, and I'll call it L for arc right. length over, well, the, now we need the whole. That's circumference. It's easy, it's 2 pi r, and our r is 5. 5. And so now I just have to cross multiply to solve this. I'm going to cancel out my zeros, make it easier on myself. Mm -hmm. So I have 5 times 10, that's pi. 10 pi equals 36L. I'm going to divide by 36, divide by 36, and I get 50 pi over 36 is that arc length. Well, let's we can see if reduce I, that a little bit. Okay, let's see if I have a calculator. We'll do this, find the actual value of it itself. Where is my calculator? Sometimes coming? it'll ask you for the value in pi form. So That's true. Okay, so if we want to find 50 divided by 36, and if I want to make that into a fraction of reduced terms, I get oh, 25. There we go. So 25 over pi, or 25 pi over 18 is L, which is approximately 
the three significant figures, I can take that value and times it by pi. And I get 4.36. We don't have any units, so let's say it's centimeters, 5 centimeters, so this would be 4.36 centimeters. Okay. okay, there's the idea. So, to generalize this formula, if I call this angle here theta, and I'm looking for the arc CB, which I'll call L, I take the angle part of the circle over the entire circle. So part to whole. Part to whole. Equal to? To L is the part of the length, the arc length. The whole is 2 pi r. Here is your formula to find arc length. Make it Hi there, it's Mrs. Flynn. And Mr. Rops. And we're here to do to continue with another example. Right, given an arc length, L is 3 centimeters in our circle with a radius of 2 centimeters. Calculate the central angle. All right, so we know from before that if we look at part to whole, it's theta compared to 360 and... L, L the arc length over the circumference. All, right. All, right. All we have to do is substitute in our values. All right, so our... Yeah, I mean, no, I'm, and I'm looking for the central angle theta. So theta over 360 is going to be 3 over 2 pi times 2. Easy enough. Cross Easy multiply. Enough. Yep. Uh, 360 times 3 is 720 plus. It's a big number I can't do in my head. It's okay. We have a calculator. Super. So theta, 4 pi okay, theta. Thank you. And that's what we're solving for. So right. we can divide by 4 pi. Mm -hmm. Divide by 4 pi. And well, I can do 360 divided by 4, though. I know that. Right. That's 90. And then 90 times 3 is 270 over pi. Well, that's a pretty funny-looking angle, but that's what the value is. All right, well, let's go figure out what it is. Let's see what the approximate value is. So 270 divided by pi. equals 85.9 degrees. Three significant figures. There we go. Super. That's it.